Well, hello everybody. It's Ronnie with Whip and Chain, and I work alongside Maggie and Lauren. I want to show you this beautiful uh, textured stitch. It's called the Leaf Hopper. This is the first in our series of Textured Tuesdays, which we plan to bring you a different textured stitch every Tuesday. As you can see, it has two parts to it. Leaf Hopper it has a, a stitch, a pulling stitch on each side, so when you touch it, very textured. And the back of it, even though there is definitely a wrong side to this, it's a very pretty stitch. Um, even on the back, looks nice. But here she is. This is just a sample that I did. It's really not a hard stitch, and once you get going, it's a repeat pattern of four. It's Once you get it, it's really not that hard, so please don't let this tutorial scare you away from trying this. It's a beautiful stitch, and it's a very lost stitch. You don't even see it that often in any pattern or anything. So this is, I have a feeling that this stitch is going to resurface itself really soon. So here I am to show it to you. Okay. It's first started in a pattern um, stitch count of four. So get your length that you need of four, 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 and four. And then once you get to the length that you want, I just need you to add three. The added three is to actually help you start with your starting setup row. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna first make sure you're nice and close. So again, your starting chain. I'm just using for transparency. Um, it's called I Love This Yarn. It's a acrylic yarn. It's a thickness of four. Okay, and this one's called Cranberry. You can use any yarn, and I would recommend that you use the hook. That's recommended. I'm actually using my favorite clover hooks, and this one's a six, which is a J. Okay, so I'll tell you when the repeat pattern starts, but if I can, we'll start. And what I'm showing you is just a sample. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Sorry, we're boarding. One, two, three, four. And I'll do one more. One, two, three, four. And then you add your three. One, two, and three. Okay. So, fourth chain. From the hook one two four I want you to go on your back humps and I want you to put double crochets in I have to make sure my hands are in the center so just a double crochet in every chain, just one, all the way down your row. And believe it or not, it's it's a really good setup and doing the humps on the back, it really makes your project have a more finished look and it's actually easier if you want to put a border on to do this. I try to do this in almost every pattern that I can. There's some patterns the way they're set up, this just don't work, but that's truly okay. Both my dogs are in here, so if you hear grunting or noises, that's Moose and Mimi. Just hang your out. It's 
So again, we're just putting double crochets all the way down. Mimi's trying to lick my yarn. Mama's. She's missing her daddy. Her daddy's out um, with his friends doing RC racing today. Now while I'm doing this, let me tell you about our uh, Facebook channel. We have a Facebook page, I mean, I'm sorry. It's called Whip and Chain, W-I-P for Work in Progress and Chain. Please come and join us. We would love to see you there. And if you do find this tutorial helpful, would you kindly hit that like button and a subscribe button? We'd really greatly appreciate it. WIP stands for Work in Progress. Okay. I'm telling you, that's the hardest part. Now I want you to turn. And I want you to chain three. One, two, and three. And then that th chain three counts as a double crochet. So in the next stitch, not the one where you did the chain three, the next one, I want you to put a double crochet. Now this is the first row of the row repeats, so you know. So now, I want you to look at the post underneath that double crochet. So here would be your first post, right here where you did your chain three. Right here is your second post. We're gonna work in that. So I want you to wrap your hook. I want you to go around that post. I want you to grab yarn and pull through. And do not make your tension tight keep it loose. So then I want you to wrap the hook again. I want you to go back in that same post and grab some yarn. Now you'll have five loops on your hook. Wrap your hook and only go through the first four. By doing that you'll still have two loops on your hook. I want you to wrap your hook. Now going back to the posts See your very next post with no wraps around it? We're going to skip that. We're going to go to the next post and we're going to do that again. You wrap it, grab yarn, come on back, four loops, wrap yarn, go back in, grab more yarn one more time. And again, please try to keep your tension loose. So you're going to wrap your hook and again, you're going to just go through four. And then you'll have three loops left. One, two, three. Wrap your hook and go through all of them. Okay. You made your first one. Now, I want you to go look in the back. All right, look, look far in the back. And in that same pose that you did on your second foot of the leaf hopper, uh, right on top of that that chain up top, I want you to put a double crochet in there, okay? So make sure you count. That's your skipped one, this one. And just right at the top of that same stitch, put a double crochet. Okay? Now, the next two chains, I want you to put one double crochet and each. One and two. Alright. So now 
you're going to skip a post right here and the next post and this post happens to be where your last double crochet is we're going to do another one so i want you to wrap the hook remember you're going into the post that's right up under your last double crochet which is skipping one post put your hook in there wrap it around grab your yarn come on up wrap and go back in that same post grab your yarn and come on up and you'll have five loops on your hook wrap it and go through four then we're going to skip a post go into the next one go in there and do the same thing wrap come on through wrap come on through now remember we're keeping our tension loose wrap the hook and go through four three loops left wrap your hook and go through all three you just made your second one now you go back to the top you skip one chain then the very next one at the top of it you put in a double crochet okay then you put in two regular double crochets I might have to go check on her she won't have to go potty I'll be right back guys I apologize she wanted to play for a little bit so that's what we did anyway so you put in your two more double crochets so we're gonna make another leaf hopper so if you did your chains right your double crochets you skip one go into the next one so you wrap your hook and you go in that post wrap the hook come on through wrap the hook Come on through five loops wrap your hook and go through four wrap your hook you skip one post you go into the next and you wrap and you wrap and then you have six loops wrap and go through four and you wrap and you go through three hello I apologize I had to go hang out with the dogs for a while because they were barking a ton so I had to pause and come back so where we where we're at is we did both legs of the leaf hopper right here and after you finish that then you go behind it again you skip one stitch and right above the post, the, the stitch of where you did your post of your leaf hopper, I want you to put a double crochet. You might It might be twisted back a little bit, so just pull it forward. It's all right. It's all good. So then you put a double crochet right in there. And then you put in two more regular double crochets. And then you repeat it again so it's the post right below your last double crochet but to make sure you're on track you just skip one post right here and go into this one and you do your first leg come up wrap and make sure you only go through four then you wrap you skip one and go to your next wrap go through wrap go through wrap go through four and you wrap and you go through all three and then you go behind here skip one and you put a double crochet and that's next stitch the stitch that's right above where you put your last leg of your leaf hopper in and then two regular double crochets And then you put in another one. Remember, you skip this one. Go through four. Wrap. You 
start that one over again. I apologize. Messed up somewhere. Set your wrap. Go in, wrap, come through. You wrap, go back through, come on in. You wrap, make sure you go through four. Ah, oh, that's probably where I messed up. Wrap, skip one. Now you'll be using, when you're coming to the end, your last leg of your leaf hopper is right before your chain. That way you know you did it correctly. Wrap and wrap. Wrap, you go through four, then you wrap and go through three. So then at the top, skip a stitch. I'm going to put a double crochet on top of that chain. And then make sure you don't forget about your chain here. Put one double crochet in there. And you finished row one. So now I want you to chain three. Turn your work. Now you don't use the stitch that your chain three is in because that already that chain three counts as a stitch. All you do for this row two, you put in double crochets, one double crochet in every stitch. That's all this row is. For the leaf hopper, you do need these setup rows to do it. And when you're done, don't forget your chain stitch. Forget that, that will throw your counts off. So you need to make sure you get your stitch in there, okay? All right, then you chain three and you turn. That's my heater. So again, this chain three counts as a double crochet, so you don't do anything else in there. In the next three stitches, I just want you to put in one double crochet. Now the reason we're doing that for this row is because the leaf hopper, you can see it? The leaf hopper, they're staggered. Okay. Like this row is the same as this row, this row is the same as this row, but they're staggered. All right. And then we just start our leaf hopper on this one. So you want to start in the fourth post because you're in the fourth one. So that'd be one, two, three, four. And it's the same process that we did in row one. It just, it's more, it's a couple rows in, so they can be staggered. But it's the same exact thing. So let me do this one. 
and you go up here. Make sure you skip a stitch and then put your double crochet up there. Then you put a double crochet in the next two. And two. And then you skip one. Did I do it wrong? Skip one post. No. Okay. Skip one post. And here we go. Wrap once, wrap twice, and go in. Wrap and you go through four. Wrap, you skip one and go to the next. One and two wraps around the post. You wrap, you go through four. You wrap, you go through three. Then you skip one. And you put a double crochet and a chain right above where your last leg was of the leaf hopper. And then you put in two regular double crochets. And you keep doing that. Go through four. Wrap, skip one, go to the next. So rows two and four are always going to be the double crochet rows. Skip one. All right, and then rows one and three are going to be the leaf hoppers. And you just repeat. And repeat and repeat until you come to the end of your project. And four. Wrap your hook. Skip one over here. Take your time, I'm going to suggest, on this because. If you miss a stitch, it can throw your whole thing off, and you really don't want to do that. Oh, I was done. I did my three double crochets up here. One, two, three, and then our fourth in the end and when you're doing row three you will end up having one less leaf hopper than the bottom row because as you can see there's five here there's four here they're staggered so then all you would need to do is chain three one two and three turn your work now remember, this one counts as a stitch chain three. You just put double crochets all the way down. And do not forget your last stitch with the chain. That's very important. And then you would repeat row one. Row one, you would chain one, I mean, chain three. Okay. Double crochet in the next stitch and then you would start your leaf hopper, okay? Row, row two would be double crochets all the way across. Row three, you chain three, you double crochet three, and then you start your leaf hopper. And when you end it, now the double crochet you put in your second leg on your last one does not count. It would be just three double crochets and a chain, okay? And that's it. That is how this stitch is done. It's really fun. It's really easy once you catch on to it. And it's beautiful. And the whole point of the series is it's Texture Tuesday. Very textured stitch. So if you have a child that likes to feel, you can really feel these in this. 
And if you have any questions, please come find us on Facebook. We're under Whip and Chain, W-I-P and Chain. Uh, WIP stands for Work in Progress, and I work alongside Maggie and Lauren to be able to bring you these videos that we so much enjoy doing for you. So we look forward to seeing you soon, and if this video was helpful, can you please hit that like and subscribe button at the bottom? We'd greatly appreciate it. Till next week, bye-bye.